Hello, so I'm going to continue with the embryology of the face that we had started and today we'll move on to the embryology of the palate. I'll split this into two parts. First part will show the embryological process and second will be about the classification of cleft palate which stems from the embryology itself. Uh, so the, for the palate what you need to know is that this is also an ongoing process uh, like the development of the lip that we had discussed. So during the 6th to 12th week of gestation, the process starts. It is important to know uh, that it begins with the pre-maxilla. This is considered to be the center for growth of the palate. And this pre-maxilla comes from the frontonasal process. The one that we had seen in the previous videos when we had discussed cleft lip. And the maxillary processes which come from the first pharyngeal arch that I had shown in the first video. These will also take part in the formation of the palate. So when this progression happens, you can see that the premaxilla, which has come from the frontonasal process, is going to grow in the midline, like this straight longitudinally. And from the maxillary processes are going to stem the palatine processes, which are paired. So there will be one on either side and then they will grow towards the midline. During the same period of time, the median part of the lip, that is as we had discussed, the philtrum and the central portion, which comes from the frontonasal process, would have developed. So after this period, if you look at it from a different view, you will see that the frontonasal process, which is the median one, and the palatine processes, which are coming from the as two lateral outgrowths, are all going to meet each other. They will form a sort of an inverted T. So at this point of time, all these three processes are going to combine to form the palate. Another important point to remember is that initially these palatine processes are longitudinally downward and then they elevate to form the horizontal shells which will unite with each other and they will lead to formation of the palate. Now it is important to remember that the palate consists of two parts that is a primary palate and the secondary palate. So this is essential to know even where cleft palate is concerned. So the primary palate and the secondary palate depends on whether it is anterior to the incisive foramen or posterior to the incisive foramen. So this is going to be the differentiating point. Now this is the pre primary palate which has come from the premaxilla which is from the frontonasal process and this is the secondary palate the one that was going to be formed by these palatine shelves. So this is further going to be divided into a hard palate and the soft palate. Now this part of the palate will undergo an intramembranous ossification process which is going to make it the hard palate and the one which will not undergo this process will form the soft palate and the uvula behind. So this is the overview that you need to know for the embryology of the palate which is going to help you understand the classification which will be shown as part 2 of this video.